All right, welcome to the event line, I'm Major Freak. So, we are on a test run. You'll need uh, mid-grades, uh, and these implants are just under a billion. Much worth it, just mid-grades, so you don't have to go high or lower or anything like that. Uh, SB7, bit expensive, but peanuts compared. You'll want to be about 200 kilometers away from the target to start your run. Otherwise, it's pointless. You'll want to understand the vector. This is the vector of your target. This is your vector. Kind of hard to tell the difference. They are the same color. And 132. Yeah, 200. If you have a neutral, if you have an alt, maybe, or somebody helping you uh, whip around them at 200 kilometers, you'll be able to warp out to that person. That would really help you. That's the ideal. So, the target is moving. You should have it listed here. I have got it for, you know, enemies basically and let me velocity change order all right here we go so it's 146 typical slow speed of Lashax and they they should be typically not moving at all but I'm showing you what they do when they're moving so what you'll want to do is click here just two diameters in length and just keep doing that i'm eyeballing it actually this is the first time i'm doing this um so yeah just two diameters in length and you should be able to hit them going that fast see bam bingo that's pretty much i it the skills are coming back to me it's just Kinesthetics is really easy for me. Um, if it's for you, that'll be easy. Now, of course, the target is moving quite fast, but it slows down really quickly. It's not going to travel all that far at all. Um, you'll have to hit it twice. Um, and when you're trying to hit it twice, don't just wait. Don't hit approach. Always remember that you need to... Go towards your target and me. Well, go towards your target and you're basically if you're going that fast and your target's going that slow and it's small. Yeah, having a something you can warp to quickly and then have it 200 kilometers away means you'll be able to do this repeatedly and quickly enough. And here we go. Sometimes it's helpful to look at your target for a split second to figure out where it's going in relation to you. 70 kilometers, yeah, 70 kilometers is not far enough away. I would probably click one diameter in front and that should do it. Micro adjust, all right. So you're not, you're not blapping it that hard. It's not going to go far, honestly. You need a lot of uh, distance and a lot of speed uh, to really smack it. I'll show you what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, if you were to say start at 200... 
you know, warp up to a neutral at 200 and then start your running again. And hit overheat. Always check your car when it looks like that. Are they behind or in front? No. Nope. And we'll go back. Punch that. And we're going to go overheat next cycle. diameter actually two we're going to we're gonna kick into overdrive and bam. and we put it up to look at look at that target go now so yeah that's what happens when you uh, do overheat it really helps and drugs you pop it a bit it's pretty cool but remember you won't be pushing it very far um, Guardians have a range of seven kilometers optimal. Uh, Nesters have, I believe, the same range as uh, Lashax. Not very far, like 30 kilometers optimal. So, yeah. Um, Docking request that's accepted. the best thing I can describe. Um, if I didn't explain it before, the way to get your. your overview so you can actually cl click on a target and not have that annoying because if it's, if you see the name and type and ship thing to the right it means it's impossible to double click in that spot they just prevent you as you can see there's no indication of anything that's because i've got a specialized bumper overview uh, normally you know it'll look something like you know, the usual way, right? Like that. So you'll need to get a specialized overview that has this ticked off and then it'll have nothing. And if you didn't have this open, you'll need to open it to reset it. I'll do that again. Um, so yeah, if it wasn't open and you went to the bumper it won't work. You have to, I know, right? Yeah, you have to open up your overview settings. It'll be on the ship. That, that'll that reset it to your new settings. Okay? And that'll help you double click on this. See, I can't. Well, see how it doesn't allow you to. So this just means you get more ability to click to the double click to the right if, say, it was moving in a vector in that direction. And never ever try to approach it to bump, you've got to double click because otherwise it'll slow down once you get close. So that kind of ruin your fun. So anyways, yeah. Uh, for this, for your speed, for Cineball, uh, two diameters um, of the circle in the direction of its travel should be able to hit it. If you're going faster, less, it's going to be tricky. You're going to have to yeah, I've been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> so it's just, it, it took a while to, for me to blow the dust off my skills. I've got a quite embarrassing video about it, but I didn't make it public. Because why give, teach people bad habits, right? Yeah, you can hit approach, but as long as you double click and quickly, where is it going? It's going in that direction. And click in this direction and two diameters width and you should be able to hit it like so it's it's different for each type uh, it was a tighter thing for orcas when I was bumping orcas but if you're going after the shack and it's going that fast that'll typically be what you'll be aiming for they have micro warp drives on it's going to be different um, <coughs> I 
I don't know exactly how to explain it. <coughs> um, it'll just be you <coughs> learning on the job, basically. Uh, it's nothing I can teach you. You're just going to have to... It's basically your intuition. You just start guessing. If it's going faster, I need to lead it a bit more. You don't get carried away. You just just use your gut. Use the force, Luke. And, uh, yeah. And besides, um, just get a couple good hits in. And then you might get lucky. And if people are watching, they'll be able to primary that target and kill it. Maybe. Or drive it off. Maybe. Somebody might get a point on it. Great. And they can kill it. But yeah, it's it's a good feeling when it happens. But don't don't beat yourself up for missing a lot. It it happens. Even to the best of us. Anyways, uh hopefully that helps. Good luck.